Welcome to an exclusive Miami recorded conversation discussing the film Poppy Field from Romania, an official selection of the 38th Miami Film Festival and a, a competitor for the Jordan Wrestler First Feature Award. My name is Jay Laplante, and I am the executive director and co-director of programming for the festival. Whether you are joining us in the theater or having just seen the film virtually, I welcome you and thank you for uh, attending this conversation with filmmaker Eugene Jebelno. I first want to introduce one of our programmers, Andrew Wilson, from the Young Arts National Foundation. He helped program this film. He's uh, uh, participating in my new film festival as a curator for the very first time. And I want to first turn the floor over to Andrew uh, to, to briefly talk about why he uh, program this film. Thanks, Jay. Um, what really struck me about this film was the intimacy of Poppy Fields. Um, it was just a very beautiful character study that unravels step by step. Um, and really the word intimate just keeps on coming to mind over and over of this very beautiful and tender story. Um, even as it's wrapped up in this very dynamic political situation. Wonderful, and I completely agree. It's a very subtle, brave film, and thank you so much for joining us to talk about it, Jim. Well, I'm very happy also that the film is in your festival and that I can talk with you about, and I, I am really honored to be with this uh, film there. And hope the audience enjoy it also. I know they will. So I want to jump in and talk about something that um, from the very first moment I've wanted to discuss this with you, which is now that everyone uh, who's watching this conversation has seen the film, I want to talk about this ending scene with Christo on the phone speaking in English uh, in terms of endearment with his, with his lover and his um, fellow, fellow uh, you know, uh, colleagues in the police department around him realizing something that they haven't realized before. It's one of the most profound moments of cinema in this entire festival. And um, I wanted to talk to you about how you arrived at that moment and um, all the layers that went into that scene. Yeah, I've, yeah I'm, I'm very touched by your words, both of you, <laughs> because I am, I am happy to know that uh, the, the film um, can do this and you can see the intimacy work that we have done there and uh, also about this scene I mean it was very important for me and for the screenwriter um, not to make a film about a coming out but making something about how this man uh, manages his uh, own fears and his own struggle between his uh, professional and personal life and uh, yeah, for me, that moment, it was more about how he's accepting himself and uh, not about how he wants to be accepted in the society. And so that's why I didn't want it to make something that it's like a, um, a screaming uh, coming out uh, with his uh, friends. So it was more about how to deal and how you can change by your own um, perception about your own homosexuality because I think the, the, the film it's not a, just about a, a homophobical society but it's also about the homophobical education and how you can be your own um, how to say uh, censorship somehow it's how you, you, you deal with your feelings and with your identity with, uh, with yourself so yeah, it, it, it was a moment in, in the end that uh, I wanted him to be um, uh, somehow without any protection and just this, this phone call that he, he gets from his boyfriend uh, in front of the others without explaining anything. It was for me the, the moment that uh, brings the most, um, how to say, um, he's the most naked somehow in that moment in front of them and there's no more uh, gendarme, there's no more uh, homosexuality uh, there's just him and I mean he assumed just to be uh, um, 
a part of uh, of the group and with the others and accepting himself yes it's it's an amazing uh collision of, of writing directing the performance of the actor um john houston the great the great filmmaker john houston once said that um, when when you do something right in cinema that for the audience the thing happens whatever's happening on screen happens in that moment as if it is live as if it is a live theater and in fact i had that sensation watching poppy field from the very beginning the entire thing felt like it was live theater I know you have a theater background, and this is your first film. How did you uh, approach translating that that feeling of, of, of the, you know that live the, the, the life unfolding in front of us that you're experiencing in your film? Yeah, well, as a, firstly, I would say that as a homosexual person, I was close to this kind of uh, struggle in Romania, so I'm living nowadays between Romania and France, but uh, all my um, teenage, uh, all, all my, uh, how to say, the first years uh, and my, my uh, the moment when I have uh, said that I'm homosexual, it was here in Romania, so it was something important for me and it was something very difficult to make in, in all the the society, the community uh, I was living in. So I think that uh, for me, it came a bit uh, like a, um, organic necess necessity to make this film about this subject because I felt uh, somehow that I'm speaking about people like me. So I was doing something that I, uh, that was like, you are saying about how to bring life. So I was trying to, to be very close to, to my own values and my own fears and my own uh, feelings about uh, what all this uh, is um, questioning. And uh, well, I had the chance for this film uh, to work with a very good crew and mostly with uh, Marius Panduru, that it's the uh, DOP of the film, that it's really a wonderful, uh, a wonderful guy and uh, someone that was really uh, close and uh, helping and uh, listening to all my ideas. And so um, that was somehow for me very protective. Uh, it was a protective team for me because when I started to work, I was saying um, that I haven't done any film before, even a short. So it was really the first time I was doing something in, in cinema. And uh, Marius had this, sen this, this sentence that he said that uh, you don't have to change nothing from what you are working in theater. So just try to think that the camera, it's all around, uh, so like uh, 360 degrees. And uh, I have rehearsed a lot before with the actors. So I tried to not change so much from the way I'm working in directing uh, in theater because I, I am an actor at the beginning and what is the most important for me in, in, in my job of uh, director, it's the work with, uh, with the actors. So I'm really someone that is focused on the, on the acting. And so the, um, the idea it was that when I received this proposal, this proposition of the producer to make this, to read the, the screen, the, the screenplay and I have accepted it. I was, um, I don't know, at the beginning I, I have had the fear, of course, to start to do something in cinema. And then I said, uh, I'm just doing something that is right because this story, I couldn't have uh, make it in theater. This, uh, this time of the story that it's happening in 24 hours like this, with all this tension that it's a bit like an elastic uh, um, and not something that it's growing in conflict like in a theatrical way. Um, I tried to put all the, um, how to say, the, the, the theatrical skills that I know in cinema um, instruments, but not to change that much. And in the same time for me, it was the, the right way of telling this story. So. I don't know. It's uh, 
it's it maybe I would say that this film that's why I started to speak about myself and my own homosexuality because I think this film of course it's the work of um, of two three years of preparing it filming it and all the things uh, after but it's also about all 10 15 years that I have left lived as a, as a gay person and how you deal with the, with the society and the people around and the, the homophobical country that I live in. And well, it's a uh, step by step. <laughs> yeah. um, that's a really beautiful answer. And I loved, I loved how you talked about your, your personal um, story and how, how, that, how that invested the film. Like, thank you. Thank you for being so personal with us. Um, Andrew, did you have anything you wanted to ask you, Jen? Yeah. So, I mean, following up on, you were talking about your relationship with your director of photography and how, how safe and uh, expressive that relationship was. When, when I think back to, you know, watching Poppy Field, I immediately think of the cinematography, right? That is one of the key characteristics that nailed down this very bare, vulnerable, um, and personal uh, nature of the film. So I would just love to hear you talk a little bit more about how your vision for the cinematography, how did that play out? Um, you know, was that a, r a rapport of ideas? Um, was that something that you were kind of invested in from the get-go? Well, um, I don't know if you know, but I think yeah, you can you can see it on the film. So the story of this uh, uh, protest was a real event in Bucharest in 2013, the first time when a group of uh, of people came into a cinema hall and they interrupted the the screening of an LGBT film. And uh, after it has happened a few years later also with other films and it was the same group of uh, um, orthodox people that wanted to stop the, the, the screenings of, uh, of this kind of, uh, of LGBT films in cinema halls. And well, I wanted to be very close of these real images of these real events that has happened, because um, the people were there. It's um, it's a real thing that has happened, and where people were in conflict. And I wanted in the cinematographical uh, images to to have this kind of uh, documentary somehow uh, feeling so that we are like there like a witness of what is happening and we don't know uh, on which side we should go uh, that's why also in the acting of the um, of the characters of the actors i tried not to put people into bad and good guys so it's more about why we are um, interrupting films like this. What does it make that you become such a uh, homophobical person? Why um, you need to wake up in the morning and to be against this freedom of uh, expression and uh, of living? So for me, it was all these questions about uh, how we arrive there and not uh, the effects. And so into the, um, uh, in, in the cinematographical uh, images, I don't know, my English is maybe not the best, mm -hmm. but I'm trying to make a, a, a mix. And uh, we tried to keep this, uh, yeah, this truthful of this somehow um, very cine um, verite somehow of the, of the, of the style. And, um, with Marius, with the DOP, we choose to to shoot on 16 millimeters film, for example, also for this kind of uh, reasons. And because we wanted to be very close to to the actors, to have the the uh, colors of uh, something that is very deep, because it's of course different the digital and the the um, film, the 16 millimeters film, and when I have seen the film, for example, the, the first time, 
some images on the screen and I have had the 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 close up on the actor on Conrad I said well I'm really glad and I want this because it's like we can touch him and I want it to be so close to him that the audience can be uh, some kind of uh, a shadow like my shadow here and <laughs> and to have this um, this kind of uh, very close relation between uh, the audience and the main character and to to be um, in empathy with him so that's why also we choose to make all these uh, long sequences to give the real time of the situation and to let um, this impression of something that it's not um, manipulated uh, emotionally so to have the the um, image of what uh, you can see in the cinema and i think it's even most um, interesting as uh, the position if you see the film in a cinema hall of course all the films it's better to see them on cinema halls and not on on a laptop on, on but uh, I, when i have seen it for example and other people were saying that as the big part of the film is happening on this cinema hall, you feel that you are there with him, with them. And so that gives somehow the impression of uh, uh, prolongation, I don't know, of something that is going from the screen to the cinema hall. No, I love that. I love hearing you talk about the, you know, the, the truth that you're getting at with the richness of the depth of like just the color um, and also those prolonged scenes. And I also loved hearing you talk about not only how your personal lived history played into this, right? Because as a director, you're not just bringing your past two or three years that you've worked on the project, you're bringing your whole life and your whole perspective with you. Um, but also how, you know, the local situation in Romania, right? How that influenced and inspired your directorial choices. I think that's that's really beautiful. And I love what you said about the colors. I think, you know, the, the richness of the red seats in the theater is an image that will stay with me for a very long time. I have one final question, Jim, which is about the, the um, title, the title of the film, Poppy Field. Um, can you tell us what it, what it means and um, wh how, how you would really arrived at that? Yeah, well, um, it's not that far uh, from your image, from the last image that you were speaking. So it came from that, in fact. It came from the, from the moment when we shoot this, uh, this scene with uh, Christy in, uh, in the middle of, uh, of these red chairs. And when we did this, uh, this image, uh, I said to, to Marius, to the DOP, uh, that it seems to be a poppy field. And uh, so it came from there. The, the title at the beginning was something different. And uh, when I have seen this image and I was thinking about uh, all this, um, how to say, maybe vulnerability of this uh, flower, that it's a poppy, and uh, this uh, red, uh, also somehow very visceral, very something that is coming from inside and bloody like this. And uh, in the middle of, of, of a field, like his person in the middle of the society. And so I wanted to keep this also because of this poetical somehow maybe um, a reason, but it came from the work. And I'm, I'm, I'm a director and an artist who try to to be confident with what comes when you work and not to prepare everything. So I like to, to be also uh, su surprised by what comes. And uh, if that image, image came, I said, okay, so that image, it's something that uh, came without searching it. So it's something that maybe we should keep because it's not speaking about just the, the social, political subjects, but it's also about a human being that is vulnerable uh, because of something. And yeah, it came from, from, from that, the title of Poppy Field. 
Well, it's another example of how how um, strong your voice is in cinema, and um, we wish the best for this film. We are going to be following the the life and the journey of this film even beyond the Miami Film Festival. Thank you so much for being here to share uh, with us. And I want to tell everyone in the audience, if you just watched this movie in the theater, uh, the film will be online for 48 hours starting tomorrow. Tell everyone you know to, to watch it. Or if you've just watched it virtually, there is still some time left to recommend it to your friends. So again, thank you, Jim. Thank you, Andrew.